Hi everyone, I'm Joel Baird, a general manager of Missoula Community Access Television. And I'm Kim Anderson. I'm on the board of MCAT, and I'm also the director of programs and grants for Humanities Montana. Here we are to welcome you to this autumnal edition of Missoula Live. <sighs> oh my it's gosh. kind of chilly today. But you know, still 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 no stockings on the legs. That's I'm still my... wearing shorts, people. <laughs> That's my rule. As, That's if, as right. long as I don't have to wear socks. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a we actually have kind of an autumnal yeah. show. Yes. There's stuff well, yeah. going on. All the traditional fall things are happening right. already. Yeah. And that's what we were almost like, oh, time forward, won't you take a break? Because <laughs> the seasons are rushing by. I know. You're very poetic. We were trapped on a carousel of time. Time. <laughs> Joni Mitchell. Um, I don't have too much to tell the dear viewers, but that uh, with the season change, um, MCAT is offering, again, our animation uh, four-hour drop-in program for kids between the ages of 9 and 13. Mm -hmm. Seem to do well with it. I should also add that um, some, somebody wanted their Legos back. I can't really say uh, who. Right. I forgot to check my basement. Yeah, please. Yeah. And dear viewers, if you could check your basements, give us a call <laughs> at 542-6228. We want a few more Lego stuff. Some of the kids are bringing in their own kits. Oh, so they've good. got like, yeah. I don't know, like a Star Wars one or, you know. I mean, my youngest thing. is 29. So and I has will, some Legos. I think there are still Legos in the basement. This would be very yes. nice. Yes. So you can see the graphic. It's every Saturday, 1 to 5 p.m. and. Um, it's suggested for kids 9 to 13, and the fee is $10. And that's not just for an hour. It's for the whole hour. Four act. hours. That's right. Anyway, so that's what's going on um, in the Big MCAT news. I don't know, Kim, have got some humanity stuff. Well, I only wanted to remind people that uh, coming up later this week, and so we're talking about beginning, I think, Thursday, September 28th, through Sunday, September 30th, uh, is the Montana Book Festival. It's which, that compacted. It's yeah. Thursday through Sunday. Sunday. Which is wow, quite a bit. there's so many yeah. things going I know, on. I know, I um, know. And so the Book Festival is in its current um, iteration, but it has been going on annually for, I believe now, 18 or 19 years. 15 of those thanks to you. 15 of those under my direction, That's but right. now a much happier, more relaxed Kim Anderson right. is That's telling fun. you it's someone else's problem, but it's still <laughs> a great right. event. And and yeah. it's going to be going on all over Missoula. You can get buttons at any uh, local bookstore. Right. And the Montana Center for the Book, which is part of Humanities Montana, will be hosting two events on Saturday, uh, September 29th, at the Downtown Dance Collective. At 1 p.m., we will be giving a, out three of our Montana Center for the Book Awards. Wonderful. These is a, this is a prize that we award to groups around the whole state that do spectacular work in uh, literacy or literary programming. It comes with a $1,000 prize and um, lots of acclaim. And, uh, and three of the winners this year, we just announced them today, three of the winners are right here in Western Montana, so we'll be giving them away oh, this. that's great. At 1 o'clock at the Downtown Dance Collective on Saturday. And then at 2.30, I would like to encourage anyone who is in a book club, is interested in book clubs, wonders what's all the fuss about book clubs, to come to the Downtown Dance Collective, because we're just going to talk about book clubs. That's um, fascinating. And we'll serve wine while we talk. That's also <laughs> <laughs> so come to the Downtown Dance Collective on Saturday, like September 29th, and um, check out what we're doing. Right, September 29th, this yep. Saturday, yes. if you're watching a premiere show. And then if you missed it, people can you'd go to Book Festival. Is it MontanaBookFestival.org or something? Yeah, I think Barb so. Thoreau was here just, last time. Yeah, just, just, just Google Montana Book Festival, yeah. and it pops right up. It's a great schedule of events. Hundreds of different things going on. It's amazing, people. It yeah. really is. And then each year, MCAT will record some of this, but it's it's not the same as being there. In no, it's not. So, so go. Go. Um, Betsy Mulligan Degas here. She is Yay. the director of Jeanette Rankin Peace Resource Center. Thank you so much Thank for coming back. Thank you. You're most <laughs> welcome. <Annual tradition. laughs> right. And you're having your annual fundraiser I coming am, up. I am, yes. 
It's October 14th. Right. Again at the Fairgrounds Home Arts Building. It's that's been a great space for us. I agree. Don't yeah. have we to were there last the weather, year. Um, but it's a it's a wonderful space, and the Fairgrounds is so awfully nice to work with. So uh, we're doing our event from three to seven. I have the poster here. Wonderful. So, uh, I don't know if you can see Yeah, that. Scott yeah, can zoom in, it. and also yep. he's got it on the website. Like, you guys okay. put it on the mask. We did. You yeah. want to show yeah. that, Scott, the yeah. website? Well, so, so we have uh, ticket prices still start at $30, right. and uh, that includes dinner, includes all your drinks, and then raffles and auctions, and uh, I think we have the Drum Brothers coming for a little oh, bit wow. of oh, wow. music, uh, uh -huh. or at least some of them. Okay. And uh, dessert. We have a wonderful, generous community in Missoula, as you guys probably know, and so Laura Garber from Homestead is going to do our food again. Did she oh, do it last year? She did. It was, it was really good last really good, year. And then yeah. Bernice's and Great Harvest are both giving us dessert, and okay. Sweet Peaks just threw in some ice cream to top it. Wow. Wonderful. So, um, that it will be great eats. And then uh, we have some wonderful, wonderful prizes, uh, raffle prizes and silent auction and live auction things. So uh, we have uh, sale on Flathead Lake. We have Ooh. a cabin in Flathead. We have a... Uh, a week stay at a at a cabin in New Hampshire. Wow! Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, and then and another one in Tennessee, a cabin in Tennessee. So some some original art too, some ceramic pieces and signed and framed other pieces from um, Janet McGann and oh, Lonnie Dolak yeah. and some other folks. And Excellent. Yeah. It was just, I remember last year, just a great eclectic range of things, you yeah. know. Yeah, the so, silent auction was long, all against one yeah. wall. Or, there was tons of yeah. items. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a little bit, Betsy, about um, what this fundraiser supports and what's coming ahead for sure. the Peace Center? Well, this is the, our one big fundraiser. And in, in some ways, I hate to call it a fundraiser because it's uh, the only time where the community that is the Peace Center gets together with our members. Yeah. And so it's always, one of one of the complaints is people can't talk because there's so much uh, happening and people kind of networking with each other and enjoying that. But but this funds our programs. So um, it is, it, it's about a third of the income that we bring in and we rely on that for the classes and the speakers that we bring and mm -hmm. the work that we do out in the schools and any publications that we, we make um, to try to educate people about nonviolence and social justice. Um, our theme this year is interesting. It's peace parties on and everyone's <laughs> invited because you know, we were originally thinking of something like peace has no party because mm -hmm. it's so important today to be thinking about the big picture of peace and, and it, it, it isn't related to one party or another, right. one religion or another. It sort of transcends all that. And so um, we settled on this because it's even in troubled times, which some, some people, you know, there's a lot going on in our world yes. and a lot of it is is very difficult to to uh, to deal with and understand and get through. But the the work for peace has to continue through that, and everybody has to get involved on some level. So that's sort of what we're trying to portray with mm -hmm. that: that uh, peace keeps going, um, hard times, good times. It, peace belongs to all of us, and we all have to get involved in making it happen. So this is this is an opportunity for folks to come and help support that bring home a wonderful item yeah. or a dinner. I yeah. mean, we have, we auction off some international dinners and this year there's some brand new ones that are Really? Mexican and Saudi Arabian oh my and goodness. Ethiopian and uh, New Orleans dinner. And, and those are always some of the more popular yeah. And then there's still, items. there's still Ray Risho and right. a French dinner and a Thai dinner and an Indian dinner and um, And that'll so. be during the live auction? Yes. Yeah. Who is your auctioneer? Jim Parker. Oh my gosh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Jim Parker's been involved in this for years. He and, really uh, has. He does enjoy that. And then we, um, as you know, we auction off the plates at the dinner. So yeah. it's uh, eight or 10. 
and then whoever buys those plates all come together on the designated day of the dinner and it's like an instant dinner yeah. party where you get to meet new friends and connect with old friends and so they're very fun events. Yeah, they really are. Did we talk about the storefront that the the um, you know because the Christmas is coming and so on, <laughs> but that you have the fair trade. That's at not rush things too much. Well, Christmas I, is I know, coming. but um, it's, it's a true. lot of time when people turn fall to that just fair started. trade Look store. Yeah, fall just started. <laughs> I well, think. that's true. But I mean, the location is 519 South Higgins. It is the storefront, and then uh, could you tell people a little bit about the store? I can because it's one of the big things that supports us and it yeah. also is you know related to our mission to educate people about economic empowerment around the world and and that in that income distribution because these are artists and craftsmen all around the world that mm -hmm. because of fair trade are able to make a living wage and contribute to their communities we have a new person that's managing the store oh. our development and outreach coordinator and she is amazing. Oh, so great. So people who haven't been to the store, they need to come in because she has some um, wonderful new things coming in all the time. And she's done a lot of work with our local indigenous community. So we have a lot of native, great new native idea. artists. Great idea. Yeah. yeah. And also uh, a couple that we met this summer through the university's Fulbright program from Columbia. And we're bringing in some things that are made by artisans down in Colombia. So wow. some different new things and just yeah, everything is just wonderful in the store coming in and I it's dangerous to work there actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure <laughs> that's the stuff true. You want to yeah. buy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's let's recap. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We're doing okay on time. But for people but, who want to get tickets. Yeah. It's right on our website, www.jrpc.org. Yeah, we yeah. And then just right at the banner at the top, it has a picture of the poster. You click there, has lots of information about it and all the ticket prices. And um, then you can also buy a table for mm -hmm. uh, 10. Yeah, which we did as MCAT.org last year. Mm -hmm. And that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it, it was. It was a lot of fun. It, it was, was a lot, lot of fun. fun. And then we got. Um, a discount ad, you yeah. know, as part of the yes, auction, full page ad in the Missoula yeah, Independent. Right. So that's that something to look for into. summer yeah. camps. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, good luck. I hope uh, I hope you have beautiful weather Thank and you. a great Thank turnout. You. I know you'll have a great turnout. Yeah. And it's, it's a beautiful fun. building, the yeah. Mars to Hall. I know. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for helping yeah. me get the word out. And You're most well, welcome. You thanks bet. for coming yeah. by. Yeah. Um, we'll be right back. Our next guest is going to be Caroline. Right? Caroline Patterson. For the Missoula Riding uh, Collective right after this. Welcome to another edition of the Montana Department of Transportation's How to Drive a Roundabout. We all know what to do at a traffic signal. Red means stop, green means go. But when we come to a roundabout, we're often unfamiliar with what to do next. Oh, no. oh cowboy, wrong way. Here are the tips on how to properly drive on a roundabout. First, slow down when approaching a roundabout. Second, yield to traffic in the roundabout. Vehicles in the roundabout have the right of way. Now you're getting it. Third, do not stop within the circular portion of the roundabout. That's no place to stop. Fourth, signal your turn and exit the roundabout at the appropriate point. Following these instructions, you'll have no problem navigating the new roundabouts popping up all around Montana. Hey, let's check out this park. great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org.
You can't sit here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. We're not friends. Why are you talking to me? You started it. She's so gross. Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. I don't want to exclude anyone. I don't want to make anyone feel lonely. Left out. Hurt. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment and consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Katie, and we're nursing students from Montana State University, working with the Missoula Forum for Children and Youth at the Missoula City County Health Department. We want to let you know how you can help your patients keep their homes, pets, and children safe by promoting medication safety. Did you know that every minute of every day, a poison control center answers a call about a young child accidentally getting into medicine? Or that one child every eight minutes is treating the emergency room for accidental medicine poisoning? However, medication poisonings are preventable. We invite you to help keep children in the Missoula community safe by increasing awareness and education for families about the proper use, storage, and disposal of medications in a fun and interactive way. To do so, we at the Forum, in collaboration with Safe Kids Missoula, things had... Oh, we're back. Ah, here we are. Hello. Never <laughs> we're mind. We're talking about book-related things. <laughs> because guess who's here? Yes. <laughs> And Caroline Patterson is here. Welcome and thank you for representing Missoula Riding Collaborative. Oh, thank you. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. Show up here. Show up here. You've got well, a lot going on. Yeah. We do. We have a lot going on. So, uh, and we're um, gearing up this week because we're having all our uh, summer camp kids read on Thursday for the uh, Gummy Bears and Goldfish reading, uh, which Barbara Thoreau named uh, when she was at Fact and Fiction. So this week, the, the kids will all be at Fact and Fiction at 5.30. And this Thursday. is part of the Montana Book Festival, and this is the, right? Okay. the kickoff events right. at the uh, Montana Book Festival. So we always look forward to that. And um, the kids, uh, I think we have about 12 kids signed up uh, to read. And then a lot of times what we end up handing out the anthologies uh, from the summer camp and kids, people in the audience pick out poems that they like and they read them out loud. So it's oh, really fun. Great. It's a really fun reading. Uh, and so that's going on. And then on Saturday at uh, 11 o'clock, um, Nick Lippman, who is our program assistant, and I are talking about the um, Missoula Children's Poetry Map. Um, yeah. Because we finished that last year, we um, we went in all of the fourth grades. We uh, got about 500 children's poems and illustrations and recordings about different places in Missoula, and then we um, housed them on this digital map. And there's also an illustrated map that's part of it, and they're all places in Missoula, like the M and the Clark Fork River and McCormick Park, and um, and then we. Um, house them also at the library on a um, an iPad Pro and you know with a stand where kids can um, you know play around on the map. Oh, that's cool! And really you can fun. also access it online, right? And you can and access yeah. it online, and you can access it with a QR code. So that's all. That's at the library, and then um, if people you know go on our website, you can get the QR code, um, and just they can access it on their smartphone or just on their own computer. But it's oh, really it's fun. fun. It so is so if cool. kids write about the location, it's like a location-inspired poem, right. then you've got it kind of like showing people where that poem originated, Well, so and the speak. kids found the location. So the kids oh. wrote, picked their location, like a lot of kids picked Hiking the M. Mm -hmm. And then we worked with um, Ken Wall, who does geodata services. So he brought up a ge geographical data, a geographical map, and they they had to find it, that specific location on the map. So actually, one of the hard, hardest places to find was the M, because it's not, <laughs> oh. it's not a street across roads. Exactly. Right. It's, right. Not, yeah. it's not like a national park. Or, right. You know, uh, it's so funny. It's so anyway, we spent a lot of time trying to find So the that. kids are learning those skills, as well as writing skills. They're also kind of learning a whole different skill set with the map. 
right. you know, and place setting. That's kind of true. Yeah. It's so cool. But yes, yeah, so and then you can click on any any point and. A and poem the, will come the poem up. comes up, the illustration comes up, and the recording comes up. Yeah. And that was a part that nice. we did. We added the recordings as part of an ADA requirement. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wow. And it ended up being kind of one of our favorite parts of the maps beca map because the kids' voices are so great. Yeah. They're so, they were so earnest and so serious about recording their poems. And, and we usually just had to record them once. But um, they're just, their voices are sweet, they're funny, they're really serious, they have lisps, they, <laughs> you know, they are, are, have lots of expression. And, right. Uh, I think it, now it's my favorite, one of my favorite parts of it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, it'll be fun to see the whole presentation. And I wanted to just get in as well, before Carolyn moves on to yet another thing that they're doing, um, that later that day, um, Carolyn and the Missoula Writing Collaborative will be at the Downtown Dance Collective, as I mentioned earlier, oh, yes. because they are one of the 2018 Montana Center for the P Prize winners. We are so for oh, their that's great. Yes. for their amazing work. And in this case, it's specifically we're honoring their amazing work on the Flathead Reservation with youth in um, in Arlie and Dixon. Is it Dixon and Saint Ignatius? Nations. And Pablo and Ronan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're so we're really really excited. No, oh, congratulations! About that. That's yeah. Great. Yeah, we're really I pleased to be able to highlight them. I didn't realize Missoula Riding Collaborative was going north like that. They're all over. We're all over. We're in 30 <laughs> yeah. schools, kind of in Western Montana wow. now. So. It's Are you going right. to change it to the Western Montana Riding Collaborative? We <laughs> <laughs> may have to. I don't know. Or you could just be the Greater Montana Writing yeah, Collaborative. Yeah, Greater. <laughs> right, Montana. Right, right. Because that happened to Missoula Humane Society, became the Humane Society of Western Montana. Basically. Yeah, oh, as you expand. Just yeah. a thought. So th here's another example of a great thing that's going to be happening, two great programs that are going to be happening at the Book Festival that people should check out. And again, they can probably get, well, you can get the schedule at montanabookfestival.org. Montanabookfestival.org. That's probably the best place to get the times and the places. Right. There's so everything. much going on. There's so much going on and uh, and I really encourage people to plan ahead uh, to try to get to everything because I know I had to make my schedule. <laughs> yeah, and you can uh, do it online. You can actually really make a schedule great. and then you can print out your own hand. That's what I have. Oh, and then like, yeah. I'm going, because I'm so surprised like in the time frame that it starts this Thursday and ends this Sunday. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it went on for like a week or something because there's like how many events? Thirty or oh, more. Oh, there's a lot. Of oh, events. there's a, over a hundred events. Oh, a hundred yeah. events. Yeah, for That's sure. Yeah. It's right. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then our last event is um, not this week. It's in October, but we're having a luncheon um, October twelfth, which is a Friday from twelve to one, and we would love people to come. Um, it's by donation, so. Um, you know, we're hoping to get lots of people there because we really want, we have kids reading and we have, um, it's called Real Poets Eat Quiche. Um, <laughs> yeah. we're, our Is that what you're taking at, at the luncheon? Well, quiche? our poets are, uh, are, we're bringing the quiche and the poets. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And is it Julie's house? Is Julie and Phil's no, house? Um, no, this time we're having oh. it at the Children's Theater because okay. uh, we'd like to have more people. Yeah, this is a, a change. I mean, I yeah. go I go every year. It's a great event. And this will be fun in the lobby yeah, of MCT. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to show the map, and we, we have a great video, and, um, and then we're going to have some kids reading. Uh, so it should be really fun. Um, and we're really hoping to have a, a great showing. You have um, a lot of people in the children's uh, community theater. You, lobby. Yeah, you could yeah. get a lot in there. Yeah. yeah so I think it'd be fun. And so if, if this is donation only, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. But but you do want people to RSVP, isn't that right? We definitely want RSVPs. You've got to get your so we have enough quiche. Yeah. We got to figure out the number of quiches <laughs> right. and salads and all that good stuff. Uh, silverware and plates. Right. And so go to the website. So go to the go to our website or give us a call. Um, that's 549-3348 or um, missoularwriting.com um, at gmail.com um, exactly. and, and we're, you know, we're taking numbers and 
and all that good stuff. So we'd love people to come because it, it's a lot of fun. And hearing the kids read is amazing. That's going to make it really it's, worth it to yeah. people, I yeah. think. Yeah. You know, they may have doubts like, wait, there's a lot of things I should give money to. But once they hear, those kids uh, read. Yeah, yeah. I think that's going to melt really a lot amazing. of hearts. We had one of my favorites was a little girl who's going. She's going to read um, reading a poem called um, about evil. Uh, mm. no, it was, no, it was called <laughs> Rejoice from a Villain's Perspective. And she had this oh. long blonde oh, hair, and a, a, she was missing her front teeth. <laughs> and it, it, she just, she, when she read that poem at the summer camp, you know, she just she just knocked everybody <laughs> off their uh, seats. It was so cute. <laughs> yeah, I used to record, you know, years ago I was the artist in residence for video for MCAT oh, 20 yeah. years ago yeah, and wow. more. Maybe 22 years ago I'd started and held that position tenaciously for two <laughs> and a half years. But what I recall was recording kids uh, reading their poems and some of them would be so down like they would read the sky is gray, tomorrow I die, this world sucks. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm like, <laughs> would you like some counseling with that? <laughs> no. I'm good. <laughs> Just like, next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're very cheerful yeah. about the dark side, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. But I think that's why people are having this opportunity for kids to express their feelings and then have them absorbed and shared by others. A very important it's really ritual important. Yeah. to have yeah. a happy life, yeah. you know? So yeah. it's, it's just wonderful work. Yeah, thank you. So what's the date again on the luncheon? The luncheon is October 12th. So you've got a little time. Friday. So we got to have a little time, and we're kind of out, um, you know, doing a lot of publicity around it. So I hope people see things on social media or at the book fest. At the book got fest, a right? Yeah. Postcards and right. all that good stuff. So. I got mine in the mail. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I did good. too. We're waiting for your call. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm. Right I'm getting too. girlfriends together. It's going to take a while. All right. So. <laughs> I would go with you if you remind me. Yes. Okay. It's you're noon right. on the twelfth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's I go. Make it. Okay. But it's good. It's really fun, and this is, and this is actually we're moving into our twenty-fifth year this year. That is That's so amazing. amazing. Really too. amazing. Yeah. So they started with five schools, and we're still in those same five schools. Wow. Yeah. But now that's we're in thirty. That's, that's a vote of confidence yeah. and and yeah. um that that the original five schools are still with you yeah, yeah. That's, that's something something yeah it just rolls by because i was looking maybe to see if we had some video <gasps> and um be fun? seven years ago i was uh interviewing cheryl nothy about the missoula oh. riding collaborative and i was like well okay you're aging okay but <laughs> i just saw the thumbnail <laughs> oh. Well, I guess well, we better you. go. But well, we'll yeah, see thank you, you this week at the back. festival, we'll and then we'll have lunch, yes. quiche, and poetry. On the 12th, on at the noon, Great. at the community theater, children's theater, call it what you will. Can't wait. All right, thanks, Carolyn. Thank, thank you so you. much. Um, we're going to be right back. Yeah. I'm trying to anticipate. I guess we're going to talk about the big read. The big read. With Elizabeth Jonkel, executive director of the Public Library. This is a literary program. Yeah, maybe Scott will show you something literary. I don't know. Have you got anything literary? He said, like, no, I don't yeah. have that. Okay, he's going to show you this, and we'll be right back. There. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why did the girl ask the mushroom to dance? Because he was a fun guy. <laughs> what do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chop. <laughs> Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because a pair of cat dribbling all over it. <laughs> Can I tell you another one? Um, so how does a tissue dance? Put a little boogie on it. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. <laughs> Uh, what is a boxer's favorite drink? Fruit punch. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of the Montana Department of Transportation's How to Drive a Roundabout. If a motorist is within a roundabout as an emergency vehicle is approaching, 
The motorist's actions should be identical to that as if within a traditional intersection. A driver should continue through the roundabout, leaving the intersection clear, and bear right if possible once through the roundabout. Nice, cowboy! Remember, do not stop in the roundabout or at the entrance of the configuration. Oh no, that's the wrong way! Following these instructions, you'll have no problem navigating the new roundabouts popping up all around Montana. Propose me. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> we are back, people, with Elizabeth Jockel. She is the uh, assistant director at the museum. Uh, at the Boonzilla Public Library. I was just so shocked that, that Scott displayed you. Like, I, was still, I was just getting my poster set up. Thank you. It's time for the big read again. Yes, the big read is a wizard of Earth. See, welcome, Elizabeth. Thanks for uh, thanks for putting it on come again. On, yeah. <laughs> so, th is this event every other year? Well, this is actually a national program, which is uh, yeah, sponsored and funded by the National Endowment for the Arts. And so, the Big Read happens nationally at communities all across the United States. Annually. Well, and you can opt to do it whenever you'd like. Right. Some communities do it once a year. Uh, for instance, Helena, okay. they do it every year. Uh, we do it every two years. Okay, that's a, I knew I had yes. that gem. And congratulations, dear viewers should know that this dear woman wrote a successful grant. It's very competitive. Congratulations, it's very competitive. Yeah. And you probably worked your heart out <laughs> submitting it and everything. And it was like $15,000 or something? Yes, that's how much we received from them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. And so what happens for all that money? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we have, uh, just as in previous years, what we've arranged is an entire month's worth of events all centered around a particular book. And this year, we selected A Wizard of Earth Sea by Ursula K. Le Guin. So this is a kind of a different direction. In the past, we've uh, done a kind of classic American literature like uh, Willa Cather's Antonia, mm -hmm. My Antonia. Uh, last two years ago, we did uh, Earth or Love Medicine by um, oh, yeah. Louise Erdrich. Uh, Louise Erdrich, thank right. you. Yeah. You had the Vietnam one, Things mm -hmm. They Carried. Uh -huh. Things they carried. That was really good. Yeah, so this year we, we kind of went in a little different direction. We chose uh, a genre we hadn't looked at yet, which was fantasy writing. So kind of opens things up a little bit, makes things, you know, kind of an opportunity to kind of go in creative directions that we couldn't in the past. So we've got a whole month's worth of events centered around this book and then this is our big read selection and then we always do a little read as well which is to get little children and people who are a younger audience engaged as well and fortunately Ursula K. Le Guin wrote a children's book yeah. called Cat Wings which is adorable. It's a really it's sweet illustrated book. And yes. I, did, I read the, the Wizard of Earthsea but I don't know what happens. I mean I don't, you don't want to give it away <laughs> but in general is it about like Cats who have wings. Yes. Fly around that is good exactly cats. what it's about. <laughs> it's the best yeah. of everything. It's cats and cats that fly. Flying fly cats. So yeah. this is for oh these God. are for children, and this is for this is our adult read and our what we've always had a middle read as well. But yeah. This is also kind of functions as YA and, and is suitable it for can. young I, adult. That's insider language. Yes. Sorry. Right. Because I think the adult. first time I read this book, I was probably in in high school or 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 so. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh no, you've been talking. I think they've been able to hear you. That. Well, the nice thing about this is that a lot of people are already really familiar with it. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a nice book because I think people maybe haven't looked at it since they were. Yeah, it's young really themselves. fun to go back and take a look at something that you so remember. So this is your opportunity to get a free copy again uh, for a new f this book, and you can get it and you can read and participate in all the different events we have. Yeah. I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that MCAT is participating and on October the 16th and the 18th, a Tuesday and a Thursday, we're going to um, have some spell casting. We also have virtual reality visor oh, cool. computer thing and it also has some wizardry uh, programs and then we'll do also a green screen over here. Neat. So. If people want to come, get a copy of the book. We're also going to give um, pictures of them as wizards um, in various Fun. exciting backgrounds. Well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because um, all of our events have been, we, we've decided to 
have a launch party, which is going to be this Sunday. Yeah. So it's starting this weekend that people will actually be able to get copies of their books. So starting with the farmer's market on Saturday morning, people can come down and see our Library on Wheels bike, which is always at the uh, farmer's market, the one by the axes. Mm -hmm. And then the following day we'll have our launch party. And so the theme is uh, to enroll in Wizard Academy. Oh. Ah. Everything that we've organized is oriented around three majors that you can choose <laughs> okay. to major in spellcasting, alchemy, or transmogrification. Not transmogrification. <laughs> I think I want spellcasting. Oh, yeah, I like yeah. that too. Yeah. <laughs> so if people come on sun Sunday, this Sunday between 4 and 6, we're having our launch party at the... Uh, Downtown Dance Collective. Surprise, surprise. They can pick up their copy of their book. They nice. can enroll in the Wizard Academy. We will have jugglers. We will have oh. a uh, rune reader. Nice. Oh. We will have a wizard in the seeing. <laughs> okay. Barbara Thoreau. Oh, we'll be the wizard. <laughs> oh, and well, we'll uh, later so on, you know who was always a wizard? The chemistry teacher at university, still on the health board. Mm -hmm. I'll think of him later, dear yeah, viewer. Yeah. But I uh, got well, his face. And we've face. also partnered with the Society for Creative Anachronism. Oh, so oh perfect. So we'll be there yeah. to set the tone for the, for the party. I bet there were all sorts of fun partnerships that, that came out Absolutely. of this particular yes. read, especially. Of course, MCAT, um, yeah. um, some uh, partners with Spectrum. Uh, the Discovery Bench mm -hmm. Spectrum, there'll be events there. We've had great partners, sponsorship through Northwest Energy and through Humanities Montana. Mm -hmm. And um, boy, oh, it, the list um, is really huge. It yeah. is really big, but yeah. I'm, I'm excited for this. I just looked at the bookmark. Tales for and Ales. Well, because it's that new place <laughs> I've not been. Conflux, oh, Conflux is the host just down from where the library is on, mm -hmm. on East Main Street. I can't read it, but I think it's 200 East Main yes, or something. Yes, it is. Yes. They so are, they that's are very an example. enthusiastic to partner with the library. They're that's big library cool. uh, enthusiasts oh, right? Conflux. Yes, so uh, we have a series of workshops that we're offering. Um, uh, unfortunately, the poetry workshop is already filled up. No. That happened immediately. Wow. But we also have, through the Writers Collaborative, we have a oh, cool. writer's workshop. And those, that one's called Spellcasting 101. Excellent. The idea is you can come and learn how to do your, write your own little short fantasy stories. And our hope is that our graduates of the workshops will come to Fantastic Tales and Ales and maybe read aloud some of the work Fine. that they've oh, produced. That's great. That will be at the end of the month. So at yeah, the end of the right. month after you've finished all of your studies. <laughs> your wizardly <laughs> studies. <laughs> you can come to Conflux and you can uh, listen to some of the stories and you can receive your diploma. Wonderful. Oh, this is so good. And I have to, I have to say that mm. somewhere there in the middle, um, Samantha Dwyer, Program Officer at Humanities Montana, oh, yeah. and I uh, are leading a conversation about kind of exploring the theme of who am I, which is a theme that, that you see a lot in fantasy and sci-fi. Yeah. Uh, it's a genre Scott that's said, really um, good for If you exploring. know like the name of something, the true name, then you have power over it. Right, and that is kind of a self-discovery or, mm -hmm. or a journey of discovery. So we're going to be leading a conversation about that at the library. It's just one of the, God, how many different events are going on? A well, lot. if uh, you'll <laughs> can show the back of the calendar. Yeah, like the, um, the there's back dozens of the poster. and dozens. Yeah. I'll yeah. just show people at home why they need to go to MissoulaReads.org. Right. Because we can't possibly explain all this to you. There's so much that's going on. We could be here for an hour. Yeah. Right. And it exactly. still wouldn't. I do want to give a plug because I'm wearing my shirt. I know, this yeah, is so cool. I do. So, uh, this was hand designed by one of our staff members at Missoula Public Library, Max Hill. Uh, graciously agreed that he could he could do his own version of Cats with Wings. Yeah. And so one of our partners is the is Zach, the, the right. Arts Community Center. Oh, there we've got a good close-up. And so on October 12th, uh, it's their family free family silk screening night and you can come down and you can get your own oh, little, little get your own. bring your own t-shirt but yeah. you could any shirt you want you can mm -hmm. have that design for right on. any color yeah. any style and then you get gray that. turned out very well so if you have oh, a gray yeah. shirt yeah. Yeah. I like black, white, black and white works yeah. good 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think these are really great. Oh, shoot, I really I love them. I love my shirt. It's going to be such a fun month, and the whole list of events. Besides, yes. if you happen to want to buy a poster, but you can also get the whole list of event at, events at missoulareads.org. Yes. So if you're if you're more you, you're fine with the digital, you can go and look online Good. there. Um, we also have the printed versions of the calendars for people to pick up. And library. this this Sunday, the launch party. Yes. Downtown yes. Dance Downtown Collective. Dance. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. And look for us at the homecoming parade. We're going. To oh home. yeah, that's right. Of her. A Wizard of Earth themed. Oh look. my gosh, that'll be fabulous. We will, because we're doing the homecoming parade live. Lots Lord of willing, tissue paper to one. make that flow. So be well, great. and what we're doing is a Chinese style dragon, oh. but it'll be a westernized dragon. Oh and, wow! Um, in fact, I'd like to invite people uh, on uh, October first, second, and third. We are inviting people to come if you want to come and help paint the dragon. Oh, yeah. yeah. The library. Come to the library, and we're going to have it set up in a large meeting room. Okay. And we're really hopeful that there's some children out there who would love to come and help us make a really paint colorful, your beautiful dragon. dragon. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Elizabeth, thank you so much. I know we thank better you. move on, and we'll yeah. be short changing Jesse. Yeah. For um, the for it, but thank you so much for putting It'll us be a on fun all month. the work to get the grant. Well worth it. Totally. <laughs> all right, I will be right back after this. Um, Angela Weisenberg is here from the Office of Alumni Relations, University of Montana. Guess what? She's up? up next to talk about that very homecoming parade in which you can see the dragon from uh, a Wizard of Earthsea. So we'll be right back. It's all connected. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, if you don't have your kids involved in 4-H, you are doing something wrong. You need to get them in the middle of it. Everybody get a hold of them. 4-H of Missoula County. Frenchtown High School Advanced Percussion Ensemble is with us from Frenchtown. We know this after auditions for this class, and they will be honored. Honored Chris uh, each year with their role in the class. Well, I guess you people at home saw what they were seeing, the homecoming yeah. parade of 2017. Guess what? There's going to be another one in 2018. <laughs> it's already that time. Yeah, Angela is here from the uh, Alumni Office, University of Montana. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming down Thanks again. For us again. Yeah. How are you holding up? It's crazy. <laughs> it's it? crazy, but it's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's my favorite time of year, so. Oh, like uh, autumn and all that. Um, or yes. you mean the homecoming? Autumn. Everyone yeah. Autumn. Yeah. Yeah. homecoming is my favorite. So mm -hmm. it's and I understand you, I think you asked MCAT to record the alumni award ceremony. The, yeah, the so we'll Distinguished Alumni Awards. Yeah. yeah, we're going to live stream that this year. Oh, so. that's really great. That'll be really great. Well, um, 
You can take it away. Yeah. We know too much about it to be like Give us a really rundown of what that, that whole week is yeah. going to be like. Well, first I wanted to say, I'm not sure if you or your viewers understand, but the Alumni Association is a nonprofit organization, and all of our events are put on based on our membership and our sponsors that we have for homecoming. So good point. come out and enjoy good the point, activities. Yes. But and, it, and it kind of belongs to... I mean, it's a town and gown effort, it to is, be sure, and it's a yep. laudable one, mm -hmm. but um, Alumni Association is that, right? Yep. It's association of my alma mater, for instance, <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many benefits to being a member. How Definitely. much is it this now, is 35 a, a year? Um, it's $50 oh, a year right, so annually. Yep. Yeah. And you, if you're a dual member, if you have a, a spouse or a partner that you want, it's seventy dollars. So that would be your thirty-five right. per person. Right. And there's a lot of benefits to that as well. You can join the rec center. You can enjoy yeah. li the Mansfield Library benefits. We have yeah, some like great take travel books stuff. right out of Mansfield mm -hmm. Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And you get to enjoy, continue to enjoy the amazing events that we put on at homecoming which yeah. there's a week full of a stuff. week full see this is something i think viewers may be surprised to hear so many people focus on that that grizz cat game right and right. the parade itself that they don't just realize Saturday. yeah yeah that there's a whole week of events there uh, is yeah and and um and part of it is recognizing alumni i like yell night but you could, I mean, you don't have to yeah. say everything, like so many No, we events. started off on Monday. Um, we do the kickoff at the at Southgate Mall, and right. we'll have the drum line out there, the Spirit Squad, Monty will be out there. It's just a great, fun hour in the evening. Come out, you know, grab some dinner out at the mall and, and uh, join us in kicking off Homecoming uh -huh. 2018. We're Montana Strong this year. Yeah, is that's a theme, theme. Wow. Montana, Montana strong. strong. We're excited to, here, I'll show you my, the, the graphic is shot. Um, we had Scott it up was on the showing website. the website yeah. too. Yeah, it's great. So, um, yeah, we have that. We have um, the Hello Walk painting. That's a traditional activity yeah. that yeah. happens during the week. New this year, we're joining the um, Civic Engagement Office oh. and painting the M. So we're looking for volunteers. Wow, you're redoing that. Yep, yeah, we're gonna we're going to do that. We have the men's basketball team is going to join us, but we're looking for community and alumni volunteers to join us. There's a sign up on our website. You can When is it going to be? It's going to be on Wednesday of homecoming week. Wednesday, right in the middle yeah. of that. At four o'clock. In the evening, mm -hmm. or afternoon. Yep, four to six thirty. And we've wow. got some great sponsors. Um, UM Dining is bringing us hot dogs and all the things. Oh, perfect. You won't be doing, doing it on an empty there. stomach. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we'll feed our volunteers. They just need to register beforehand. What so I imagine good. is like a bucket brigade going all the way down. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily, they're going to drive all the paint and equipment up there. Rada Paint is donating all the paint. I don't know how wow, many gallons of that's paint, really, yeah. That's really that something. That is quite a bit. It's really good. So. The white wash. And then we get to sweep it and clean it off and do the weeds and paint it all, get it all ready for the new Make it all year. fresh. Well, it's very yeah. noble yeah. activity. I mean, because the town is known for its, its Well, yeah, um, we all look up at it every day. Yeah. And I don't know how many people have been up there. Lots, I know, but yeah. it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big thing. It's, it's, it's is. big. That's it looks true. small off there in the distance, but. <laughs> no, it's not. So, and people, the volunteers should should be fit enough to make their yes. way. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. They're we not being just, driven up there. No, so you, you do have you to make up, yeah. And we ask 18 and older just because. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, a lot of kids between 15 and 18 could make the journey. Um, yeah, <laughs> but we, we need to have adults yeah, <laughs> the project, I unfortunately. Understand. They're welcome to join us down at the at the base yeah. afterwards. But. Okay. So then... So that's Wednesday. Um, Thursday, we're also doing a homecoming Grizz on Tap special at oh. DraftWorks. Nice. DraftWorks okay. is owned by a UM alum, and so we're... Happy to be hosting a homecoming special Grizz on Tap event out Where there. Where is that one, Angie? I just can't um, recall. It is, now you're going to make me think. Oh, no. Scott, can it's you look it up? Draft I can't remember the exact street. I want to say it's on Spruce. 
down there by the old oh, antique oh, mall. Oh, just the yeah. one just down here yeah. by the yeah. and, right. and right where the bitter spur of the yeah. railroad exactly. crosses. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I say across from China Woods. Yeah, you I could too Actually, say that. I could like look up the address. And maybe on Alder. It's Tool Avenue. Tool. 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 Yeah, that's Nine what I mean. fifteen Tool. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. And we do. We have a list of all of this. All the activities with on the our dresses website. and yeah. 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 Like you see how bad I am. I have just like beer places. I mean, yeah. I know there's I the new pub, the, the Kettle House is the one over right. the north side. There's so many now. The, yeah, yeah, and Draftworks so is next to the climbing gym. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll Fridays, stop obsessing on that. Fridays, there's some big stuff. That's, that's everything. Yeah. That's our Distinguished Alumni Award ceremony that where we are bringing back five very distinguished alums to come back to campus, including William Marcus. William Marcus. Yeah, nice. yeah, one of our favorites. Yeah. Um, Sarah Peck, uh, Sheila Skimp, um, Paul Lewing and Evelyn Yeye Dada, and we'll be recognizing them and awarding them our highest honor as a distinguished alum. Excellent. So we're excited to have them. And then the pep rally out in the Oval. Yeah, right. you know, we're, it's great because we light the M up. We yes. get to have fireworks. You know, fire season this year was yeah, <laughs> not as bad. Yeah, so. I know. That was nice. Are you having that alumni dinner dance? Um, yes, at the at the Holiday Inn. Yep, mm. we'll be out there right after the pep rally gets over. We shoot on over there. The marching band comes in and wow. plays on the stairs. It's not a, not to be missed. Yeah, yeah I think that's really sweet. You know, cool I think a lot of people, if you feel nostalgic about the 50s or 60s, or you know that time when you see old pictures of people mm -hmm. um, in school singing together, or whatever. You can do it still I in know. 2018. Yeah, we'll, just have, have, to show we'll up. have singing on the steps at the pep rally again. Yeah. That's, it's really a neat thing. People to love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday morning, the parade. It's yeah, the parade. the parade. Now it starts at 10. It starts at 10. See? Lineups and all of that stuff will be being sent out. We're still accepting applications. Oh, are you? We are sitting, I want to say, close to 120 <gasps> yeah, entries. Yeah, it's usually about there. It's about 20, They're keep coming in. We've, I've had three or four come in today. You probably so. get a gross. That's 144. If I can <laughs> rent a, a white convertible, I was thinking of maybe putting MCAT board members. Because staff is like always <laughs> doing the parade. This, I think, will be our 19th year. Of doing the parade. So that we can do this? Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just need like a convertible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, John Ryan's got, well, it's pretty old John though. Does. She does. It's true. She has a four, a friend of ours has a four door oh, convertible. Nice. Right. Yeah. From the well, 70s. Well, fingers crossed though. the weather is. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you never yeah, know. It's but it's, it's, that's always part of the excitement. Is oh, gosh. We got we to gotta move along too. I forgot I Jesse is out in the lobby. Okay, so but everything you need to know about Homecoming Week. Grizzalum.org. Grizzalum.org. Yeah. Oh, Grizzalum.org. Okay. Everything Good. you need to know, but it's a full, full week of it lots is. of yeah. great stuff. And we invite stuff. the community to come out and enjoy all parts of it. So Yes, it's a real town and it's gown. It's a wonderful town and gown thing. You don't have to be of the gown. You could be of the town. Right. And, you're and if you invited. work at Brownlee Hall like I do, you get yeah. free cookies. Yeah, right? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. You're lucky. I don't know this year. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grizzalum.org. And yes. you, thank you so much Thanks for taking for the time us. today. Yeah. And we'll see you at the parade. Yes. Yes. And I'll we'll be the one you. running around like crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you at the parade. If you want to um, tune in, you have to go to um, our Facebook page. That's where we'll and be. And it will be streaming, streaming it live. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We still have one more guest. There are um, Apple Harvest Days at the Historical Museum at oh, Fort Missoula. Jesse Rogers is here. She'll be right back after a very brief message because we don't want to go over time. Sure. Outstanding, outstanding. How about a hand for him? Get on, everybody. I love it. The looks, the sounds. That's incredible. The Broadcast Media Center is home to Montana Public Radio and Montana PBS KUFM. This public broadcasting service is a public service of the University of Montana. Missoula.
Coming to Missoula later this month is a one-of-a-kind coach-led five heart rate zone interval training class designed to maximize calorie burn and get you into the best shape of your life. Stop by and see him. Orange Theory Fitness of Missoula. This is a 1957 Ford T-Bird sponsored by the Montana Antique Mall and driven by George and Sherry Sendon, class of 1965. Okay, we came right back. That was a beautiful pinkish, salmon-colored Lincoln car. Continental. Possibly. Match my sweater. It's great. <laughs> But we're changing gears to the yes. Historical Museum of Fort Missoula. Welcome, Jesse Rogers. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And she um, was just rattling off about a dozen things going on out at the fort. So I we're know, gonna have but to we were going to, we were focusing this. on Fall Harvest Festival and yes. Apple Day. This is coming up this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday, it's our free community event that we do. It's it fun. is a fundraiser for the Missoula Food Bank. So, no admission, but please bring a non-perishable food item. Mm -hmm. oh, it's great. really grown over the years. Uh, people really seem to love it. It's the fall. It's usually yeah. beautiful in late September, and we're just going to have a fun day. A uh, few things that we're telling folks is for parking. There's uh, try not to park along Guardsman Lane, so either yeah. park in some of the parking lots of the uh, surrounding area or if you will follow the parking signs, we will have the back field open, so there'll be parking all for right. all and that'll help ease things up. Um, we do have an ATM on site, so we, <laughs> we will have... Are you charging three dollars for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? We do have an ATM this year because that was one of the comments last oh. year was people didn't have cash for some of the um, food trucks and vendors. Oh, and I see. Little things a beer that we garden do. too. We do. The university a woodsman what? team is they use the for forestry day and things yeah. that we do out right. there. So the university woodsman team works hard all year out there, and they are in desperate need of a shed, a woodsman shed, because oh. their current one keeps getting broken into. Oh, how even mean. with all the things that we do, and they lose saws and all oh, sorts of very that's expensive so sad. equipment. Wow. So they really need a better shed. And so, like a steel deal, like yeah. a steel with locking doors, yeah. and you know, we have it's behind a locked fence, but it doesn't matter, it's the wild west out yeah, there, that's right? right. <laughs> so, right. um, they're doing the beer garden, and it's a fundraiser for them. So, this is really a community event, it's from 11 to 3 this Saturday, and we're just looking to have a good old time. That sounds wow, really it's great. Always so much fun. Local vendors and activity booths, right. living history, and steam engines. Yep, they'll be up and running. Pony rides Pony. and horses. So do yes. you look at the horses and ride the ponies? <laughs> yes. Okay. So we have <laughs> uh, horse logging and horse harvesting demos. Oh, sure. So the draft horses will be there wow. doing demonstrations, but the teeny wink miniature ponies are there for the riding. <laughs> oh, for, so so this would be good for the kids too for oh, the pony yeah. rides like Plus that. Plus the apple cider press, the smell yeah. of that alone. Oh, it's really it's just wonderful. Worth going out to smell the apple. Yeah. I, we've been climbing apples all over Western Montana, <laughs> so we hope to have enough. Apples. Apples. But bring Good. an apple. That's one of the things we do ask is oh. you know, bring an apple for the cider pressing because we go through a lot. Yeah. Right. And sure. it's hard to climb enough trees in a day. I didn't yeah. realize that. Um, should people bring, you know, they call them growlers when they put beer in it, but. You know, a container for the apple cider? Oh, yeah, uh, that would probably be good. There's always a little leftover. Basically, when the cider's pressed, then everyone gets a cup and they drink it. But Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. It's not like they're taking home like a <laughs> not taking home growlers, stuff. packing it away. Yeah, right. It's, it's more out. of like, I did mine. Hmm? Oh, okay. okay. I, <laughs> and then, I of course, it. the beer garden for the adult beverages. And the beer garden is... Um, the Woodsman team, but Draftworks Brewery and Western Cider donated the beer for the Woodsman team. To Draftworks again, we know right where and that is. Western <laughs> Cider, some also new. cider. See, I'm not a beer fan. Mm -hmm. Well, Don't we want it for both, right. so I like the cider. Yeah, the cider is yeah. great. And this wonderful fellow was at one time an MCAT Vista person. Matt LaRubio mm -hmm. really? is one of the principals in the Western Cider. Oh. Yeah, and he's got an awesome stash. Yeah, he does. He's got an mm -hmm. amazing mustache. 
And uh, definitely a shout out volunteers. So, yes, yeah. please. you know, if you ever, for the Harvest Festival or any other time, we have fall field trips, we have the book sorting club, we've got a variety of wonderful things to volunteer at the fort, and we really couldn't do these things without a wonderful it volunteer takes force. An and number it's a people. huge yeah. amount of work to put this on, and so we need volunteers all year long. And you don't have to do a huge commitment if you could help with a field trip every once in a while or if you like dressing up or do it giving right. tours or it really anything just you know go to our website and you'll see the volunteer info you can contact any of us and we can chat and but that's definitely we couldn't do events like this for the community without our awesome volunteers exactly well, here exactly you know. yes and and as you say you if you have a little time that's okay by yeah. you a right. little time works i mean we have folks that volunteer you know a couple hours a month or mm -hmm. uh, weekly it's it's a eclectic mix right now i know we were talking before we went on on the air about the uh, book sale coming up but when is that and can you come back and talk about it another in November, day? I will definitely right? be back to talk Good. in more depth about the book sale because this is going to be the biggest book sale that Missoula has ever seen. Oh. Wow. <laughs> right, there's and a there's problem. some competition there. So <laughs> it's yeah. huge. Uh, right. We have gotten so many books this year. Our wonderful community has supported us so grand that actually for the first time ever we have to ask folks now to postpone bringing us their books until after this book sale because every nook and cranny is stuffed with books, <laughs> everything, and uh, most of them are sorted, but we have no space left, and then it's going to take a good month, you know, I mean, the book sale is the 1st of November, so 1st through the 4th, and it's going to take me from here till then just to get it planned, because we have now extended into another building. Wow. We have that many books, probably over 50,000 books. Do you need volunteers wow. to help process yes. the books? Okay, yes. yeah. that's something yes. I can be good at. So I yeah, will you've got the book. That. No. Books are fun. Book, be part of the book sorting club, I and you like get to. to take books. We sort all year, and then for the sale itself, we really need mm. all hands on deck. Yeah, sure. All right, okay. I guess Scott says we've got to go. Gotta go. Jesse, <laughs> thank this you. Saturday, September 29th, head that's out right. to the fort and go get some apple cider and have some And volunteer. Check us out. We're fun. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, don't be shy, dear viewer. We'll be back <laughs> um, in two weeks' time two weeks? with another edition of Missoula Live. Uh, so for MCAT, I'm Joel Baird. And I'm Kim Anderson. We'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.